The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Eden Utabi, and today we're going to take a look at G.I. Joe Tunnel Rat. Never had this one as a kid. Decided to pick it up. Um, I think it's okay. Not like my most favorite figure I was wanting or anything like that. We've had a lot of those lately. Uh, the eel, the, the cobra, uh, snow serpent, torpedo, copperhead, those guys. This one is kind of a late figure for me uh, in the line. I, never, I was kind of out of it by this point. But uh, definitely want to check him out. It's got one thing weird, I think, in my opinion. But hey, I guess it doesn't really matter. Excited to take a look at this guy. The artwork is cool. Got some nice artwork here. We've got him in a tunnel. Uh, looks like a subway tunnel uh, like that. Here's the top of the box. Before we get going too far, if you haven't, go up there hit that subscribe while you're watching this video. Help me out. Also, like and share this video. Thanks. Artwork here on the side here. I, I do like the artwork. This is number 83. And on the back, uh, we got a patch on the shoulder here for Tunnel Rat. Got the Joe communicator thing. I wish they'd just kind of get rid of that. I, I don't know why they're still holding on to it. Uh, pouch right there on the side. Uh, I wonder, is that molded on if that'll come off? We'll take a look at that. But 83, six inches tall, so basically six foot. Stats there on the side. You can scan that barcode if you want to. Nobody really cares. Two things I hate, really, that Joe doesn't do on a regular basis. No file card here in the back. No stand. At some point, that needs to just become a regular thing, I think. You just include it in. Print a bunch of stands. Throw them in there. Uh, they do a good job with their retro version doing that. But, I mean, you know, that should be standard affair in all figures. So, but yeah, let's get it open. Take a look at the figure and see what it's all about. Okay, something interesting. I normally just show the accessories, but I did want to point this out. I hadn't seen this before. Uh, plastic swift attached ties holding the figure in. And that's different. They normally do the cardboard ties, so that's a little strange, but uh, interesting to see. So we're going to cut that out, but someone pointed out. Comes in the weapons accessory case for Tunnel Rat. Still, I think this is a waste of time to include this. Just stick the figures in there, and stick the accessories in something else in the package, and save some money, include other things. I mean, I don't know. And then it comes with the printing bag right here. We'll uh, save the opening for an ASMR video, but uh, we'll take a look at all the accessories. All right, let's take a look at accessories. First one is it doesn't show this on the back of the box as an accessory. Just in the picture, but it's a satchel. You can carry it on the side. Brown, some nice detail on with a latch. Pretty flexible um, handle strap right here. So that's another strange thing. Not sure why I did that and don't show the picture of it. Uh, we got his backpack, and this thing is pretty heavy, actually. Uh, just one solid piece of plastic, not hollow at all. Got the famous peg for Joe's. Not sure how I like that. We've got uh, thing up here, I'm going to assume that's so you can put the flashlights. I don't know if that's an, a thing. Seems like that would, let's see, that anything else could go in there. No, I think you could just put the put the flashlights in there and rotate them so you can have them on the shoulder like that. That's an option. The, not sure if I see the pouches to carry the lights, but plenty of, plenty of pouches here, Molly gear. One, two, three, four. He's got a lot of stuff he can carry. But that's an interesting little idea. You can put the flashlights on the top. He comes with two. This is a 90 degree. Uh, it's a lot of pretty cool little nods to the Vietnam era tunnel rats. So I like that. Uh, one thing just doesn't make sense at all to me, but hey, I'll show you that in a minute. Got the green reflective paint right there. That's nice. Sometimes you'd see these in red too. So got a big long. Knife here, painted silver, black handle. Looks pretty good. 
pretty good size too. Uh, where else we got? Got a pistol, which I like this. Uh, these guys used to use either like a revolver or a 45. Uh, it's like a 357. Very nice. Brown handle. Nicely detailed. I like this. Very good. Night vision. Kind of taking it to the uh, the future here. Now this is like a newer generation with four lens. Uh, that I guess is being used now or whatever. Uh, but yeah, you get four lens here. It doesn't flip up or anything. It's stuck in this. That would have been nice to have this like on a joint where you could on the helmet where you flip up. But I can get green lens painted in there. Nice little piece. And then we got the thing that, I mean, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, tunnel rats don't carry M60 machine guns. It's like the freaking total opposite of what they're supposed to do. I mean, it's the M60 with some green attachments, paint here on handle, stock, and a bipod, which the gun looks great. It's got a port there. You can do your blast effects. We've got one here from the, the Viper thing right there so it looks good don't get me wrong i like it but I'm not sure if i understand the necessity of it and then uh we got magazine here so uh where does this thing clip on we should tab in there's a little pig slot right there on the bottom sometimes these things don't do the the best so you can yeah this guy doesn't want to stay There we go. Okay, we got it. Isn't that good? Silver bullets, okay. But um, these guys were fed usually just with a belt of bullets. Um, and stuff. I don't think, I don't know if now they use a, a drum box or whatever, but uh, it's not realistic. Big scope on there, fine. I just, I don't know. Seems like I would have rather had some other accessories other than a big machine guns for guys that climb through tunnels where usually they just have a knife flashlight and a pistol and that's it and i guess now they would use night vision but if that's in the thing anymore I, people probably don't climb in, in tunnels anymore <laughs> all right so we got tunnel rat here he looks pretty good and he's got a lot of stuff going on uh he's got some tattoos here on the arms the green undershirt looks really nice i like that uh i got tunnel rat with a logo here on the thing he's got uh shoulder or Holster for his pistol, which is fine. Just stick that in there. Like that. Like that. He's got a scarf. He's got a smoke grenade hanging down. We've got a hole in the peg. I wonder what that's for. Why that is doing that. They don't usually put a hole in the peg for no reason. This I could do without the ammo hanging around. And we may just get rid of that. Uh, Got a thing here for the knife. I mean, I'm okay about this figure. I, you know, I just picked it up. I think it's all right. I don't think anything great about it, but face looks really good. We got the scarf tied on the head, handkerchief tied on the head, whatever you want to call it. Face paint looks good. It's not ridiculous across the eyes like Flint. Uh, the face sculpt's good. And, you know, he's a little bit on the shorter side of the Joes, being right at six. So that makes sense. Pouches here in the leg. Uh, the pants look good. Wrapped over the boots. I like that. Uh, skin color looks good. Peg on the back. Let's see how this peg is going to work. Uh, you know how I feel about that thing. This backpack is ridiculously heavy for this figure. I don't, I don't know why it's so solid. Normally, I do all that. But there it is. Good God. Uh, it still doesn't give me a good feel on pegging in, but it's an option. You can also do a pouch here on the side. He's got so much stuff wrapped around him. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not bad. Uh, you know, if he's like a figure that you had some connection to, I can see like really loving this guy. I think he's pretty good. Um, I like the, a lot of gear he comes with, but let's go here. 
this we can man this don't come on peg it on like that i just wish he had like a way to flip them up get them out of the way so you could do that but kind of probably won't be wearing that and then the flashlights wish there was something on them to like have it on his chest i mean maybe that's what that peg is for nope it seems weird there's a hole right there not really good reason i would like to put these flashlights somewhere on the figure other than the top of the backpack but uh that's what we're gonna go with i guess so i just don't i uh, don't think anybody would be climbing through a tunnel with a big backpack on with flashlights on it you'd want the least amount of gears possible on you and you probably just send a drone or blow up the tunnel instead so there you go good looking figure you know nothing i love about it i like the different accessories i think that's cool i think it's pretty decent um definitely think about checking it out you know if you're interested i'm going to add it to the collection you know i think about going and getting the uh, desert commando snake eyes i passed on that one but i might end up getting it after all just compared i still haven't found the walmart snake eyes yet so that's to be continued hopefully that will go in stock at some point but there he is tunnel rat classified looks pretty good some things that i don't know about this doesn't make any sense to me but hey who am i to judge right another weapon for another joe and give that to roadblock all right guys thanks for watching the video i really do appreciate it like i said go there hit that subscribe help out the channel it will help me out a lot we're trying to get to 5,000 for the end of the year I don't know if we'll do it, but we'll go for it. All right, guys. Yo, Joe. See you down the road.